Okay, so this is the second part of that SSA case video. We're talking about how can we tell, in this video, we're talking about how can we tell the difference between a one solution and a two solution triangle when we're dealing with SSA, side side angles. And we're using the law of sines in order to help us out. What we discovered in the last video is if we have an answer, if we're able to come up with a, with a solution when we work out the problem mathematically, then we know we have at least one. The question is what tells us if we don't have, what tells us if we have two solutions or just one? Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. Solve the given triangle. A, side A is 12 inches long, side B is 30 inches long, and angle A is 20 degrees, which I should have written in here. Angle A here is 20 degrees. All right, so these are the three measurements that I've given, a side, a side, and then an angle. The problem is, is that I notice whenever I'm drawing this third leg, okay, what I did is I start off by drawing the 30 inch line, I drew a 20 angle, 20 degree line down, and I drew a reference line down at the bottom. And then from there I took my, my, my uh, ruler and I scaled it down, so this should be 4 centimeters long, and notice that I took this kind of like a compass would do, and I swung it down until I had a line that was exactly 4 centimeters long that met up with my reference line. But the situation that I run into is the fact that I could swing down and I could also go this direction, and I also have a 4 centimeter line. So there's two lines that I could use to draw this triangle. One of those creates an angle that's obtuse. Right here we see angle B. And that would make angle C pretty small. And side C would only go along the length of the red line, like you see. So there's one possible triangle that has those measurements. This side is 30, this side is 12, and that is a 20 degree angle. But also, if you see in black, I could have drawn a line that had a side of 30, a side of 12 going this way, and it would have run the entire length, which gives me a different angle B, and it also gives me a different angle, I'll draw it real big here, a different angle C. So I got some issues here. Oh, by the way, this C is obviously longer as well. By drawing it, I can tell this is a two-solution case. The question is, if I don't have a ruler and a protractor, is there also there's, is there another way to go about this problem? And there is. The answer is by doing the law of sine. It's going to look exactly like the problems that we did last time. So here's what I'm going to do. I've been given a little a, little b, and big A. So I know if I use the law of sines, I should be able to set up a ratio that looks like this. 12 over the sine of its opposite angle. Little a over the sine of big A is equal to little b, 30, over the sine of angle B. And you'll notice it. Well, wow, that's crooked, isn't it? Well, I'll try to do better in keeping that one straight. You'll notice there's two B answers. This is going to give us one of them. Okay, This is going to give us one of our B answers. If we can come up with a number, that means we know we have at least one solution. This is a cross multiplication problem. So I end up with 12 times the sine of B degrees is equal to 30 times the sine of 20 degrees. To get that sine of B by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 12. That gets rid of that. And that tells us the C sine of B is, but it doesn't tell me what B is, so I need to do arc sine. B is going to be the arc sine of that ratio, that fraction, on the right. So on my calculator here, I'm going to go to there's my error message from last time. Here we go. 30 times the sine of 20 gives me this. I'm going to divide that by 12. And then I'm going to do the arc sine of the answer. That angle is 58.77 degrees. 58.77 degrees. That's an angle smaller than 90 degrees, so we must have solved for this one in black here. This one in black must have been 58.77 degrees. So the question is, how do we know that this exists so far? If we haven't drawn the picture, if all we've got in front of us is this, then we've got some issues, right? Well, here's the solution. What we know is this. The angles add up to 180. Therefore, if angle A, which was given to us, is 20 degrees, and angle B is 58.77 degrees, is it possible to have a third angle there without going over 180 degrees? 20 plus 58.77, well that's only 78.77 degrees. Which means that angle C must be 180 minus that 78.77, which is 
101.23 degrees. I just solved for the black angle C here. This angle here must be 101.23 degrees. Now that I know that's possible, here's how I check for the second solution. What I've just done is I've solved for these three. Okay, I've got the three black solutions. The question is where does this B come from? So I want you to focus for just a second. Look at only the second triangle that we have drawn right here. If you focus on that, you'll notice that this side is 12 and this side is also 12. This is an isosceles triangle. So the conclusion that we can draw then right off the way, if we have these two sides equal to each other, that means that this angle here and this angle here must be the same. They must be 58.77 degrees. Which means that I can easily use that information to solve for this new, the red B. The red B has got to be 180 minus 58.77. And that would be 121 degrees. Okay? This angle B here, if it exists, is equal to 121.23 degrees. I did that by doing 180 minus 58.77. The question is, is it possible to have a triangle that has a 120 degree angle here, another 20 degrees here, that'd be 141 total, right? If I have 141 degrees total, that means I still have some room left for this C up here. That means the solution does exist. 121.23 plus 20 is only 141.23. So C, the angle C that's red, can exist. It's going to be 180 minus 141.23. It's going to be 38.77 degrees. Once I have those three angles, then it's going to be pretty easy to solve for the sides. I just use the law of sines again. So I already have my other solutions. Now, what does it look like? Because the problem is, and this is from the last video, Here's a one solution case. How do we know that that second triangle doesn't exist? If we work through this first problem, we get an angle of 20.52 degrees, right? Now, if a second triangle did exist, it would look something like this. And this angle here would be 20.52 degrees as well. If the second triangle existed, there would be our second line, something like this, right? And if that angle is 20.52 degrees, then we can take 180 minus it to find what our second B value would be. So I take 180 minus 20.52 and I find out that this angle B in here would have to be 159.48 degrees. So my triangle would look something like this. This is going to be pretty terrible. I apologize for this. Uh, that's pretty close. Okay. That red triangle here, I'm trying to draw this one over here, okay, would have angles of 40 degrees and 159 point four eight degrees. Okay, think about that for a second. The angles add up to 180, right? So I'm saying that 40 plus 159.48 plus whatever angle C here is would have, up, have to add up to 180. And if you notice, if I add 40 and 159.48, I'm already well over the 180 mark, which means that C would have to be a negative angle, which is not possible. It would have to be negative 19 degrees. And what that means is the second triangle does not exist. The second triangle does not exist. So just a quick recap of what we've done then in these two videos. We go through, without having to draw the triangle, we go through and we work the law of sines. If, when working this, we get an error message. That means no solution. If if we get a number out for an angle, that means that we have one of two cases. We either have one solution or we have two solutions. But at least there's an answer. That's what we know. And so what we do to check for that, whether we have the second triangle, what we do is we take 180 minus the new angle. 
that we solve for. And we try to use that, ang that angle, try to use this answer to form a new triangle. But everything hinges on the fact that angles add up to 180. If that can be done, then the second solution exists. Hopefully that made sense. That video ended up being longer than I thought it would be. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.